Hi everyone, what I'm going to show you today is how to change the transmission oils when servicing an L512S Daihatsu Myra or Kuai Avanzato. We're going to be doing the gearbox, transfer case and the back axle. This is obviously my project car we're working on here and you'll recall the horrors that were lurking in the sump when I ventured in there. So I was a bit concerned about the oils in the drivetrain but we'll just have to see what's going on with them. First thing you'll need is some oil, in the varieties required for these different areas. You may find your car parts shop has a reference chart, and indeed, amazingly, mine listed the Avanzato in the book, with nothing useful actually stated. To the internet. Here, I'm looking at a website I found showing the servicing data as per the car's manual, including the drivetrain oil requirements. I've put a link in the description. You might notice it's in Japanese, so let's use the power of Google to fix that one for us. So, here we are, these are the oils we need. First up, 5 speed manual transmission, 75W85 to GL3 spec. Transfer case, 75W85 again, this time to GL5 spec. Back axle, same as the transfer case. The table also gives us quantities, so I'll need a couple of litres of oil for the gearbox, and about half a litre for the transfer box. The rear axle doesn't give a capacity, but I reckon it'll be about 1.5 litres, and as it's the same as the transfer case, if I buy a couple of litres, that should cover me for both of those. I'm not going to get into a big spiel on oil specifications and ratings here, but long story short, I determined that what was available to me easily, I'd be best with some 75W90 GL4 for the gearbox, and some 75W90 GL5 for the transfer case and rear axle. So, here we are, cars jacked up and supported, and what I've done is brush down things to remove some surface corrosion and let you read the markings on the underside. They've really helped us out here because they're clearly telling us that the gearbox and transfer case drains are separate, with them both labelled, and the fill port for the transfer case is also labelled just up there. The gearbox fill hole is on the front face of the gearbox, up here. First thing, and trust me on this, check you can undo the fill plugs before undoing the drains. You really don't want to be left with having your gearbox or transfer case empty and not having a way to refill it, that is going to really ruin your day. Luckily, we're ok on both here, so I cracked open the drains and got the oil coming out. Incidentally, the gearbox also has a plug at the bottom of the front which acts as a sprung stop for the gear linkage and if you remove this it gets out a further half pint or so of oil that would otherwise not flow out due to the internal shape of the gearbox casting. You can see that the oil that came out was a bit dark but really not all that bad and didn't appear contaminated at all so it was fine by me and I decanted it into a tub for taking for recycling. With the drain plugs back in, it's time to fill things back up. You might have noticed that the fill port for the transfer case is a bit of a pig to get at. So what we're going to do here is use a funnel and a bit of tubing to get the oil down there. Top tip for you here, it can be a real pain feeding a tube like this down through an engine bay, but if you take a suitably sized extension from your socket set and push that into the end, it both weighs it down and helps keep it straight, so it falls down where you're aiming much easier. In fact, the port I was dealing with was a bit small, so I had to make a slightly smaller tip for the tube to get it in there, but it was a nice tight fit and we're good to go. I pulled out the GL5 oil for the transfer case and measured how much I needed. Look how clear it is compared to the old stuff. Then in it goes. Generally the capacity for drivetrain components like this is literally the capacity. If you try and put more in, it'll just fall back out. But there's no point wasting oil, so measure it and then add a tiny bit more if you need to. Right, transfer case done and buttoned up, now for the main gearbox. It's the GL4 oil this time, and while I did measure it, to start with, it's just a whole litre bottle. Then most of the second one. Hose is in the fill port, and you'll notice I've zip tied the funnel assembly up to the bonnet to stop me needing to hold it, which is much easier when you're doing a larger amount of oil. 
Once that's done and the gearbox fill plug is back in, it's round to the back for the rear axle. Again, fill plug loosen first, and you can see it actually caused a slight leak doing that, so obviously the axle is completely full. Drain plug out, and here's the oil. This is much cleaner than the other oils, so perhaps it's been changed not long before the car was parked up. I hope that doesn't indicate someone was having trouble with the back axle, but I'll just have to see going forward. To refill, I had enough access in here to use the fill nozzle that extends out the cap of the oil bottle. As I said, my guesstimate of capacity was a litre and a half, maybe slightly less. So all I did was fill it up until it wouldn't take any more, pretty common practice with an axle, and I was pretty much on the money. I found it got about 1.3 litres to fill it right up. So there we go, all done, and I'm able to move on to the next job. For now though, thanks for watching. I hope you'll check in with me again next time, and please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you.